what would you say in writing it? And like you said before, part of it was revisiting some things. What would you say was one of the biggest hurdles you had to clear in order to get it, you know, to this point? One of the biggest hurdles I had to clear, uh, specifically during writing, like you said, there are, you know, you relive some things. And mm -hmm. what's interesting about this particular work is that as I'm writing it, I really, well, I know that I was just kind of being ministered to. And mm -hmm. I think for me, this book, writing, the whole writing process, I had to... The biggest an array was of, I try to include like everything from then to now um, that I can testify to. So whether that's um, dealing with suicidal emotions, which I've dealt with, whether that's dealing with abuse, um, physically and mental abuse, um, just a little bit of everything. Human trafficking, I touch on it in my book, um, depression. Uh, gosh, there's, there's a list of things <laughs> because I just basically, I was sharing my memoir but I did it in a poetry format. So it makes it very unique to say that this is a autobiographical self-help. Just book give us some feedback on, you know, just their perspective on it. And then if you want to add something from a male's perspective, feel free. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let the, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let y'all have it. I'll, I'll, I'll chime in later, but go ahead. Uh, Juba, would you like to start? Yeah, you know what? I have not seen the video, but I actually heard heard, I heard the song mm -hmm. um, for the first time the the other day. I had heard, you know, that Cardi and um, Megan that they had put together this um, that they had this song together, and so I first of all, I'm a lover of music, and um, Me too. so yeah, so so I heard the song, and. Um, I'm a lover of words, so I heard heard the words, and <laughs> it, it is, I understand what you said, that, you know, some of, if, if this is a time that we're embracing our sexuality and all of this, that, and the third, I really think, bottom line, and, and, and I hate to say it, but it's, it's, it's been like this since the beginning of time. Unfortunately, it seems that sex sells, mm -hmm. and I think sometimes... It's put in a different, it's put in an impression on a lot of young people. And it makes it difficult because you have some women that have such a huge, huge platform. And we want women to be able to embrace themselves and embrace their beauty and embrace different things and their talents and their abilities. But we have to be mindful of the message that we're truly putting out here, you know, and I think, um, and, and like I said, when I was writing my book, and that was one of the things that I kind of struggled with was, you know, just kind of forgiving myself because of the examples that I had set. Um, but I don't know. I, ha I, I think I probably, I, I probably need to definitely see the video, but I, I heard them, I heard the song and it was kind of, it, it was, it was, it was, uh, it was a, a little different. It was, yeah. it was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. We can be very transparent on this, uh, this, uh, on this interview with us because we keep it real. We, we have a little church and we laugh and we have a little jokes <laughs> and we do a lot of little things. But we, we, we keep. I mean, any topic that we talk about, we just, we just be one hundred e either way it goes. So right. Yeah. Which, yeah. Um, I, I, I can piggyback off of what she said. Um, I too have not seen the video and uh, now that I've heard about it, I probably won't want to ever see it. Um, I'll tell you why. And this is, uh, I don't know if you can relate to this being in the adult entertainment industry as well, but for me, it's very personal because like, I just feel like when I see the people nowadays being trained to think that this is the way we're supposed to be, it's a right. problem for me because when I was stuck in that industry, it was difficult to get out, not only financially, because, you know, you got to pay your bills and, you know, you kind of get stuck in the circle of, okay, I know how to make money quickly. Let me go do what I have to do. You also get in the mindset of that's all you're good for. So for me, when I see people overly sexual and just putting it out there, like this is what we're supposed to be doing, I feel like we're training women to think 
this is what you're good for. This is what you do. And, you know, there was a time when people had a problem when being, with being told that they're supposed to stay in the kitchen, make babies and cook dinner. Now, you know, you're getting a whole nother mindset of you're supposed to be out here flashing everything. You know, like I, I just take it so personally, even if I'm in a club or something like I love to dance and I love music as well. But if they start dropping the P word too much and every single song and every single lyric is about drop it low and twerking and everything like it's just like, gosh, like we're training not only the women to think that this is all they're good for, but the men to feel the same way about us. So I just, I just take it personally. Like it breaks my heart to see that because I think about the women who are stuck in it, the women who are trafficked and the women who are mentally stuck in it because they feel like there's no other way for them. And I had to convince myself I'm much too talented to just be in this position. You know, I think for today, all of us have a little bit of a snapshot of what we've been led through in order to get to this point, but we have further to go. Further to go means the topics we're going to cover. Further to go means continue speaking, advocating, being a resource for people. Even today, there's so many things that everybody brought to the table that is going to, It's we know it's going to help more than just somebody. And I think that speaks to everybody in regards to their stewardship, their outreach, their their insight and i'll just say compassion because to varying degrees we've been there with what we used to be or we've been there with life challenges that we've been led through you know what ty's been led through to tell what you've been led through juva what you've been led through so again people when they watched they saw us where we are but all of us to varying degrees shared what we've been led through in order to get here and there's no shame in that. And if anything, we probably have an even greater appreciation, you know, for where we are, but also an even stronger calling to do what we're doing through the lens of writing, through the lens of speaking, through the lens of acting, what we do. So as Ty has said, and as the old folks say, you keep on keeping on. Right. You keep on. And I'll say this. And this is something I thought about when I think of the topics I've done from poetry to interviews to sports. Don't let others' limitations limit what you do. And that includes you. Don't let others' limitations on you limit what you do. Plain and simple. 